Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. If you found this tutorial helpful, please thumb up and also click on the subscribe on the right side in the lower corner. I really appreciate it. This is a read switch module for Arduino. Actual read switch is this one. This will establish a low current connection when this is get closer to magnetic field or a magnet. And it is being used extensively in robotics and uh, manufacturing and other applications. Whenever an object or something that gets closer to this, you can turn on, for example, movement of, of objects or a robotic arm or whatever application that you might think of. You can attach tiny magnet or electromagnet to, to another piece or another object. When it gets to the proximity of this, this will detect the proximity of the object and the signal will send to the uh, control system that you can turn on or something turn off based on what is detected. We have uh, three wires here, VCC, this will be connected to five volts and there is a middle pin, this is connected to the ground, that is the ground symbol and data out or digital out, that's the output. This will not have different values of voltages. For digital, either it will be zero or it will be five volts. And there is an operational amplifier that will do the task of detecting and sending either high or low. The sensitivity of this, that how sensitive it is up to what magnetic field can be set by this variable resistor or potentiometer, you can set it with the screwdriver. Here is the wiring for the re-switch module. From the right, VCC is connected to 5 volts of Arduino. The middle pin ground have been connected to the ground using this gray wire. And this pink wire from the left, from digital out, have been connected to pin 2. And here is the wiring on the module. The white from the right side have been connected to 5 volts of Arduino. The middle one gray have been connected to the ground of Arduino and the last pin using a pink wire have been connected to pin 2 of Arduino. Now let me explain the wiring. We define pin 2 as a read in pin, that is the read output will be connected to this as an input in Arduino and then we define pin 8 for relay pin where you can connect your relay, turn on a light, uh, an alarm or any other device that you want or take some other action. And on time is 200 milliseconds at the moment, we will change it. This is the time that when it detects something, it waits for this amount of time. Because if you do not have a specific uh, amount of time, if the time is very small, it will fluctuate, it will turn on and off continuously and it will not be a good result. For that reason, we have to change this at least for reasonable time, more than half a second or longer. And then off time is the amount of time that when it goes off, it waits until it goes for the next reading. The same thing for this one. Inside the setup, we initialize the serial monitor so we can see the result of connection and disconnection. For real application, you will turn this off. You don't need it. And then we're using pin mode, a read pin is defined as an input. Using pin mode, relay pin have been defined as an output where you can connect your relay or buzzer. This line will just print the text for information on the screen at the beginning. Inside the loop, we start reading the pin 2 using digital read because the signal we are reading is a digital and we compare it using this 2 equal sign to see if it is low. When the read switch is on it sends low signal at the output so at pin 2 we should read low when the read switch is on and if it is on then we take this action. This is the area from here to here. You put your action, I put just three lines so you can change this to whatever you are pleased with. I'm printing switch on using serial monitor and using digital write. We are sending relay pin a low signal 
because the majority of the relays that we have used in this course are low trigger, so the relay will be on. Otherwise, if you are connecting it to other devices, set this to high. And then we wait for this much amount of time that we set above, lay next reading. Otherwise, if the read switch is not on, the signal is not detected, then we take this action, we send the relay high, which means turn it off, and then we print this text, switch off, and we wait for this amount of time that we set above, and the loop continues like that. Now here is a demonstration, the read switch have been connected, it's powered up, the light, this light is on, and also the serial monitor is showing switch off, switch off, uh, continuously, and I have here, this is for picking up screws and other stuff, this is just magnet, I'm using this to turn this on and off, once the read switch is on, you will see that the LED will turn on and also we will see the signal here. So let me get this closer. Now the read switch is on and as you can see it shows switch on. And if I get it away from it, it will turn off. And we can set the sensitivity, for example, at this point it can work. And uh, let's put it further and try it. Right now it, it is detecting, let's go away. You see it doesn't work so it's always on. I have to turn it off. It has been the sensitivity has been reduced significantly and the pull of the magnet will determine how sensitive the reaction will be, so you have to play with your magnet, rotating it at different angles to get the best result. You see, when I put it at that angle, it has one type of sensitivity, and as you can see, it is being affected even there. Not in this side. Only in this area it can be affected, but not in here, not in front of it. So magnetic field is more strong in this area. This magnetic field goes like this and like this. At the middle it's weak, so in both sides we see very strong field. And the middle we see weaker and here we see stronger. Now I'm trying to control a uh, buzzer instead of relay. The longer pin on this side is the positive and the negative is on that side. The longer pin also has this positive sign and using the white wire I've connected it to pin 8 of Arduino and the ground on this side have been connected with a blue line to the ground of Arduino. Now I'm getting closer the magnet as you can see the light is on, the switch on is on the serial monitor and also the buzzer is buzzing. Please make sure to subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button in here. Thank you. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Robojax. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, please post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos.